Now, the draw stitch is a stitch that draws two folded edges together. So suppose we have two folded edges here, and this is how you're going to do it. You're going to pick up the piece and make sure you can see the edges. Then you're going to put your needle into the edges, into the crease, let's say, and move forward about, for example, five millimeters to a quarter, like so. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the opposite edge right in front of the point where your needle came out. And you're going to repeat the steps. So you're going to go into the creased edge, take a bite of the same amount, let's say five millimeters to a quarter, and you're going to come out. And when you pull, the edges are drawn together. So again, you go into the opposite crease edge right in front of where the needle came out and you're going to take a bite like so and by repeating that what you're going to be doing is to draw these edges together so again we go right in front of where the thread comes out into the crease line and we're going to take a bite. So now if I if I would just loosen this up and if I'm going to pull this thread, what's going to happen is these edges are going to be joined together. That's how you do a draw stitch. Now a draw stitch is used around the gorge area where the top collar and the lapel are joined. But it's also used on mannequins. So when you look at a mannequin, the side of a mannequin usually has a draw st stitch, a draw stitch. You can also use this stitch to do alterations, or if you're making a ham and you want to close the ham after you've been filling it up, you can use a draw stitch for that purpose. So now you know how to do a draw stitch.